Today we're going to talk about what your friends with mental illness would want you to know if they weren't too afraid to say it. I'm Angela. I'm here to help you live a more purposeful life in your relationship with God and with one another. I am passionate about breaking the stigma of mental health issues among fellow Christians. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel so that we can connect. Although I don't have a mental illness myself, I have several family members who do. And as a minister and the director of mental health for His Heart Foundation, I have a lot of experience up close and personal with this very situation where we're struggling against mental illness. And there's just a lot of awkward situations where you don't know what to say. Fighting mental illness takes a lot of courage and perseverance. And sometimes it's just hard for your friends and loved ones to articulate what it is that they're going through. And my hope is that through this video, you'll be able to kind of gain some empathy and understanding for what it is that they're facing on a daily basis. So let's start with number one. Number one, don't wait for them to call you. I know that might sound a little bit selfish, but it really isn't. Your friend is facing a lot, just fighting this illness and just maintaining connection can just be a little bit too much to do. So if you reach out and call, it can really mean the world. Mental illness is inherently isolating. And so if you're in a room of people, sometimes just that sense of depression or anxiety that you're feeling can make it hard to make those social interactions just easy like it can be for other people. And so if, if people can make that effort to just reach out and connect with you, it makes so much difference. Number two, offer to do something active with your friend. Harvard Health Publication recently re released a study that said that exercise can be even longer lasting in its effects on depression than antidepressants. Okay, take just a moment and let that sink in. Isn't that incredible? That's amazing. But how, as someone who's depressed, do you get yourself out of bed if you're so depressed that you can't even manage to do that and go exercise? Or how do you get yourself out of your house if you're so down and depressed that you don't even want to see another person? That's a real struggle. And so if you were to offer to help a friend out by say, hey, let me pick you up so we can go for a hike at our local park or, or let me meet you so we can take a walk, that's going to be that extra nudge that will help them in their fight against mental illness. Number three, forgive them. There might be times when they can't follow through on a commitment or they just aren't themselves. It's not something that is personal against you. It's the illness and they're struggling against it. And so offering grace and understanding and forgiveness is about the best thing that you can do for someone. Obviously, we all need to have boundaries, but forgiveness is a free gift that we can offer not only ourselves, but the people that we love. You know, people with mental illness have almost just the most difficult time they do have the most difficult time forgiving themselves. And so if you are to offer grace and forgiveness, it is just a huge example of God's love to them and also your love for them. Number four, mental illness is different for everyone. Make an effort to just learn about what it is that your individual loved one is going through. Sometimes it can seem like someone with depression is pretty high functioning and it doesn't seem like it's affecting their life that much. But honestly, the inner struggle that they're going through, through can be so profound that it's a fight for them to do just the everyday normal things in their life. And sometimes depression can look a lot like anger or, or withdrawing socially. There are a lot of things about mental illness that, that aren't just obvious to us, right? Sometimes we think of depression just as not being able to, to get out of bed or just feeling really sad, but there's a lot more to it than that. So understand that mental illness is a very individual um, struggle. And if you love someone, just learning about what they're struggling with is going to be a powerful message of acceptance and love towards them. Number five, pray with your friends. 
I don't just mean pray for your friends, but I mean pray with your friends. You know, usually when we say that we'll pray for someone, we're like, hey, I'll pray for you and you go on your way. But what I mean is when you're with your friends, ask them, hey, is there anything that I can pray for you about? Let's pray right now together. There's just something powerful about being shoulder to shoulder with a friend and offering a prayer to God that that is just so amazing and powerful. I remember the other day, um, I was passing a friend in the hallway at work and I, he asked me, hey, how are you doing? And I said, well, actually, you know, I'm going through this struggle and I'd love for you to pray for me. And we were literally just passing in the hall. He grabbed my hand right there and prayed for me. And it was so encouraging. And so that was actually a physical struggle that I was going through. And you know, it's the same with any kind of struggle. Let's just pray with our friends. We need that kind of support. We need to offer that love and, and acceptance and support to one another. Proverbs 3.27 says, do not withhold good from those who need it when you have the ability to help. What would you say to your friends if you weren't afraid that they would judge you or maybe misunderstand you? comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe for more videos. I'll be sharing some great tips and some things that I've learned about fighting mental illness, whether you're the one that is fighting it or have a loved one who is. I can't wait to see you next time. Please subscribe to more videos. I'll be sharing some great tips and, and other information about how to cope with mental illness and how to fight it.